Hey, we're on. Good morning. Matt said, as soon as you're done chewing, we can start. My son made fresh hot peanut butter cookies, and you know I had to get one. <laughs> so now, I'm, now I got cookie residue, but they're good. I need a little bit of sugar to get me going. But anyways, happy September. It's fall already. Roseanne and uh, Tony Lynch are here, and uh, Roseanne was saying, can you believe summer's over? And I'm like, yes, thank goodness. <laughs> <laughs> I think, for Roseanne, you like the hot weather. Yeah, I, I like the fall. I, I love boot weather. I love being able to wear boots and jeans. And fall's my favorite. Fall's my favorite. Yeah, definitely. Here it is. Enjoy it. Yep. Woohoo! And speaking of fall, I have our new uh, Hoo Owl earrings on, mm. and uh, to go with my old owl. Do you remember that? Who remembers this one from Avon? Mm -hmm. So now I have matching earrings. So um, you know, I always gotta be matchy matchy. And my tech guy is coming over here to do something. What's he doing? Oh, the blinds, the lighting. All right, so all right, I guess let's get into it. So comment below. Hey, Amanda, Matt says you were the first one on, so good for you. Woo she, 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 you know, I told Amanda she's got to come out. She's never been to California. I told her she's got to uh, come out here, and we could go out and get in some trouble together. Mm. Huh, Amanda. <laughs> all right, so we're going to do some recognition. There's not a whole lot of updates um, corporate-wise, but for us there is. Um, the big thing is asking customers for money, because I know the three of us here, we've been with Avon for so long that we're nested into Avon credit, which means that uh, Avon will give us our order without paying for it, and we can pay after we've collected all our monies from our customers and then pay our Avon bill. And the, uh, LG was going to take all of that away but then COVID hit, and so it's still on the table. Us that are grandfathered in will eventually lose it, but we don't know when. Um, but all new reps going forward do have to get their money up front, so we're going to be talking about that. Uh, fourth quarter is on our heels. I can't wait. It's going to be so exciting. And then, and then we're going to wrap it up, right? All right. So we have birthdays. So um, if it's your birthday, comment below. And uh, if you got a postcard from me, I hope you watched the video and texted me the secret message. <coughs> Only one person has so far. All right. So let's see. Who do I actually know? Toria Chapman is my neighbor's granddaughter. So happy birthday, Toria. And yeah, a lot of people I don't know. Roberta Williamson has been with Avon for so long. She's on Teresa Rivas' team, but she lives in Martinez, and I've never talked to her. She doesn't return my call, text, emails, nothing. But what can you do? And then what do, who do we have? Oh, Lorraine. Happy birthday, Lorraine. Woohoo! She's in Sacramento. She's going to be watching us later. So if I, I knew one of those noisemakers to say happy birthday. And then uh, Alaya Wright, she's... Um, She's the one who texted me, so she's got a little birthday surprise coming to her. Martha, she's in um, Half Moon Bay. Um, that's not far from us, and um, she's been with Avon for over 50 years. Five zero? Five zero, yeah. So she, she was nested to me, so I didn't sign her up before I was born, so it wouldn't work. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so that's it. That's all the, all, all, all the people I know. So happy birthday, September. All right. And then we have Avon Versaries, Harmony Kano, four years. Woohoo. And Amanda, give it up for Miss Amanda, three years. Woohoo, woohoo. She was nested to me, and she was one of the funnest people I've had nested to me in a long time. Say yay. So um, let's see. Who else do we know? Oh, Lorraine. It's your Avon anniversary also. 29 years, wow, whoop, whoop, good deal. And then Tony Nalaska, she, she's been with Avon for 14 years. Now, funny thing, Tony Nalaska, her, her name is T-O-N-I, and Tony Lynch is T-O-N-I, and they both have the same middle name, Lynn. Yeah. Isn't that funny? <laughs> all right, so, um, yep, and that's all I know. Oh, and Sokasan is under Pete, which is... Um, the upline between me and Tony and Karen. So, but 10 years. So she's, she just works her business online. So she, so she doesn't do anything. But she still gets online sales. I don't know how she does it. 
All right, so top 10 sellers, and uh, it's, uh, it's hard to get this information in a pretty way onto the slide. So uh, when I try to highlight and copy and paste from Excel, it's just a mess. So I just did a screenshot. So I'm not going to go through all of this. Uh, let's see, but we had campaign 17. How I did $1,900, I don't know. Yeah, my, my Avon customer in San Francisco, she did order like 300 something dollars, but it was just that campaign, everybody wanted something. Yeah. I'm still delivering it. <laughs> it's just like, oh yeah. Everything's expensive, but certain yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then Miss Sally and Robin, and check this out, Penny Foster is brand new, and she's on Robin's team, so that's doing good. Brenda Shepard, Misty, Pat, and Amanda, woohoo. Amanda's just getting her name in lights. I think she's getting addicted to having her name in lights, huh, Amanda? Yeah. All right, and then we got Tina, Teresa Rivas, Lena, Lenita, Denata. Denata is brand new to Avon. She just self-appointed, and Avon assigned her to me. Um, where was I? Patricia, Elizabeth, Teresa, D. Rodkey. Woohoo! Uh, Brittany, Annalyn, Patricia, Rebecca, Tanya, Ignacia. And there's Miss Tony Lynch, woohoo! Mm -hmm. Katrina and Lorraine. Da, da, da. And then in 18, so Martha Ramirez is also on Pete's team. Never seen her text her before, but she's always working her business. So I have to trust that she gets the goodies I send her. I hope the post office never returned them. So I don't know. And then we got D, and yay! Oh look, D just almost hit 500. And then Brenda, Lorraine again, Judith, Pat, Brenda McHugh, Robin, Show, Tina, Shannon, Amanda again. Oh, and there's me. See, look, I had a big one, and then I had a small one. That's, nor that's normal and business, because, yeah. <laughs> but, but like I said, I was still delivering the last one, so I was kind of grateful I didn't have more deliveries to do. Now, if that was all online, hey. that would have been something. Um, I could go out and garden even more. So let's see. And then we got Penny Foster again, Nancy Shope, Cheryl, Teresa, Shalita, Maria, Cecilia, Brenda, Joyce, and Veronica Mata. And Veronica, oh, what? I'm not going to give it away. Veronica Mata! She just made premier level. So, woohoo! So, um, we still, so we're going to um, be talking about um, trying to get to President's Club because she knows. Our products are so cute. Where there's a will, there's a way. All right, so we had our spin winners. So I'm doing the spin in three ways now for all the new representatives that have been with Avon from the beginning to their first eight campaigns. If they sell $100, they get their own unique spin so they don't have to compete against all, all y'all um, rock stars. And then the normal spin is $200. And then for those that shine really bright, it's for $500, so you get an extra price. So if a new person sold $500, technically she would be in all three spins. So that would be good. So um, we had Denata, Selena, and Sally for campaign 17. And campaign 18, we had Penny Foster, Amanda, and Martha. Now, um, I haven't sent the spin prizes for campaign 18 yet. In case you win a raffle today, I can put it all in one box. So um, for the Campaign 18 spin winners, you know you're getting older when you got to make sound effects to move, right? Um, so Penny Foster, she's getting the brand new uh, dry oil body sprays. Oh, okay. And you can, you can take the caps off and smell them. My, my, bat my battery charger. And then... Oh, it's wrapped up? Yeah, oh, all right. And then Amanda, she's getting the new Aloe Jeju set. So congratulations, Amanda. So, But I'm going to let them smell them. But if they're sealed, they, they won't take the seals off, but they'll smell them. And then uh, Martha Ramirez, um, she won the new perfume that I did the commercial for at convention, the new Live Out Loud perfume. So that's going to Martha Ramirez. So, and it's okay to spray the cap. Right. And then if, if, th you, if this is um, not, I will, you see if you can smell those. 
All right, so um, in campaign 19, um, I think I wrote it down for myself. Did I write it down for myself? I think I did, somewhere. Mm. Let's see. I think it was the, the $100 spin winner for campaign 19. I'm not gonna open this, but it's on the cover of your brochure. It's uh, each door window opens up to another product. So that will be for the $100 spin winner in campaign 19. The campaign, um, the spin for 200 is going to be this new purse. I'm not going to undo the strap, but it's a, a crossbody. And uh, you put your phone in there, and there's a wallet for your IDs, and then quick access there. So that's for the $200 spin winner for campaign 19. And then the, camp, the shiniest diamond for the $500 spin is going to get our new necklace and earring set. Aren't those so cute? Yeah. What color sweater would you wear that with? You, red, green, black, white? What? Not red. Oh, not red. Yeah. White one with yeah. The ivory? yeah, so comment below. What color would you pair this with? Yeah, so that will be for the $500 spin winner in campaign 19. So you have until Tuesday night, 9 p.m. to get your order in, but don't wait till the last minute because, you know, if there's ever a computer crisis, Murphy's Law will strike at 8.50 p.m., 10 minutes before the campaign closes, and you won't be able to get your order in. <sighs> yes, all right. So um, our update is it's time to update our goals. I wish you guys could see Monty looks like a lovelorn soldier just oozing over Roseanne. He's just, as soon as she sat down, he just plopped right next to her, and he's just melted into her. She's not going to go anywhere. Yeah. He's got her. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so um, we have, so we're in campaign 19. So we got campaigns 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. So we got eight campaigns left for the year. So if you're tracking, if you're not up to 5,000 yet, you want to take $5,000, subtract how much your current sales to date are, Take that amount and divide it by eight, and that's how much you need to sell for each campaign for the remaining year of the rest of the year. So you want to you want to hit one of these by the end of the year, because wh why make twenty five percent when you can make thirty percent or forty percent, right? So um, to get to thirty percent for next year, you got to reach five thousand by the end of campaign twenty six, which closes on January second. So not only do we get all the Christmas sales, we also get the after Christmas sales. So um, now's the time to fatten up your customer base. And then for President's Club, you want to reach 10,000 so that you can lock in the 40%. Now you have to be careful. If you're buying products to do events, and after all the holidays, you do a return, the return will subtract, and I've had team members miss their President's Club target because they did returns. Wow. So be careful. Talk to, if in doubt, call me. Call, text, email me. I don't want to see you miss anything. I'm greedy for you. <laughs> All right, so this is a very busy time of the year. We're planning for the holidays. Um, I. I Please join our team Facebook page because I know a lot of people don't read their emails and I don't want to bombard you with emails. So I put a lot of stuff on the Facebook page so that at your convenience, you can go and look at it all. But I will be sharing um, sales tools um, to help you with these holidays. And I think, Tony, you made for me one year the jack-o'-lantern because I couldn't get my old one onto the computer. But we made these little coupons mm -hmm. with a little jack-o'-lantern on it. And, you know, no tricks, no treats. I mean, no tricks, just treats for you, something like that. So um, we have this thing called Bombitas, and I don't have a little bag with me. But at the Dollar Tree, they sell these little bags. They're about two by three, yeah, yeah, so two by three, and they're a Ziploc. And they have, um, they're printed. So you can get one with, um, I saw they had witch's hat, black cats, they had skeletons, they had pumpkins. And in it, you can put your business card or some samples with labels on them. And so um, 
I know business cards are fun to create and order and receive and pass them out, but tr truth be told, a business card has never gotten me any business. The brochure gets me business. So people say, oh, do you have a card? I'm like, my book is my card. So um, one thing I've been doing is these labels, they're 80 to a page. Um, you can find them on Amazon, Walmart, Office Max, and they're very tiny, but they fit on the labels, on the samples. And I put to order, and then I put my phone number and my web address. Because people, I throw away business cards all the time. People come, you know, give me their business cards, and I'm like, I get home, and I'm like, eh. <laughs> I throw it away. But the stamp, well, I recycle it. I don't, yeah, it's not, I'm like that. But anyways, but samples people don't throw away. So make sure you put your contact information on the sample and let your sample be your business card. Much more uh, cost effective. And yeah, so um, in those, so in the bombitas, put the samples with your labels on them. And, and, and I would put, uh, perfume sample's not gonna fit too well, so I would do maybe an eye cream, a face cream, and a lip bullet or two, right? And then um, get some candy and put it in the, um, uh, and you're, was there something? Oh, I yeah. oh, we're looking at the samples. So, because when you attend in person, you get goodies. So, here's the size of the sample. And so, for legal issues, oh, now see, if you have this size, you might want to just put it right here on the front. In case you come across one of those negative Nellies that just love to get people in trouble, you're not supposed to put the label over the product information. Whatever. <laughs> Go clean your toilet or something. Leave me alone. <laughs> Anyways, so when you're putting your uh, label on your samples, put them on the front and don't cover up the uh, product description. All right, thank you, ladies. And then um, I like to put little candies in the bag, not chocolate, because it might melt. Um, unless you're keeping it with you and you give it to them when you hand them to them. But, you know, like the little uh, Werther's or Butterscotch, something that's not going to melt, give them some little candies in their bag. And then I like to also put little Halloween stickers on the Avon bags. Or if you have, um, if, if you're into stamping, you can stamp the bags and make them cute. Um, I get, <laughs> I spend too much time on this. I love this stuff. This is my favorite part of the year. Um, for Thanksgiving, uh, there's a customer appreciation a thon. I'm not going to go into that now because it's lengthy. I will send an email and uh, with the supporting uh, handouts, it'll be on the team Facebook page. Um, send a Thanksgiving card. Uh, go to uh, Dollar Tree doesn't really have boxes of Thanksgiving cards, do they? Amazon has good deals. I found good. Um, One's a, a Walgreens, and I get a box of thank you cards, and I write, you know, dear Mary, in a world of a thousand choices, thank you for letting me be your Avon lady. And I put some samples in there, the flat ones, you know, skincare. And um, um, I might put some coupons in there for Christmas, right, to get her to entice. And so thank you, Monica, for reminding me about the Christmas bucks. I'm still working on that, but... Um, I, I searched the internet and I found a reindeer wearing lipstick. So yes, Christmas bucks. I want to find a way to put Christmas bucks in the hands of our customers that they can use to redeem, to get a discount on their order. Um, and then call-a-thons, they're kind of like uh, customer appreciation days, but we'll go through that later. Um, you want to make sure that your customers are um, opting into emails from you. Use the sweepstakes to capture more email addresses and make sure that you're subscribed. Um, if you don't like getting all these Avon emails, some of you are unsubscribed and you're missing important information, create a separate account for Avon. Just roseannavon at gmail.com, right? Just please get the emails from Avon so when you feel like looking at emails from Avon, you can find them because if you earn codes, they're going to email them to you. And so I've had, uh, and the codes are unique. So if there was a contest, Roseanne's code is different from mine. I can't share my code with her. So if you throw away your link, too bad, so sad. 
you don't get to use it. So make sure you get your emails from Avon. Cyber Monday is a huge deal. Um, back in the day, pre-COVID, you know how people would line up for hours waiting for Walmart to open? I could never do that. <laughs> it's just, I was not going to be in one of those videos with people falling down. And said, but these diehard Avon ladies would get up at 2, 3, 4 o'clock in the morning and go pass out bombitas to everybody in the Thanksgiving line. I'm sorry, I'm busy sleeping. I, I'm not. No. <laughs> so um, I think Black Fridays, would you guys agree, comment um, in the section, um, is Black Friday more for brick and mortar stores than for us? Yes. And Cyber Monday would be more for us. Yes. So let, let's, let's support that and like find cute little pictures. You know, maybe it's a picture of you. Like, okay, Roseanne's sitting in a recliner. You have a recliner, Tony. What if you put on some Avon slippers you got your dog and your, okay, I'm going to use Tony because he's got a cute little dog. What's her name now? Loka. 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 <laughs> anyway, so what if she's sitting in her recliner, Loka, she's the cutest little thing, and Loka's in her lap and she's got a cup of coffee and she's got her phone and she takes a picture, right? And you don't really see her. You just see the dog and the coffee. Or maybe she could get one of her kids to stand, like I'll cook you dinner if you take this picture for me, okay? <laughs> and so she could get uh, her son Nick to stand behind her. And so you'll see the back of Tony looking at her, shopping on her phone with her dog and her coffee. What better way to shop, yeah. right? And then use that image to promote your Cyber Monday coupons. But you have to be subscribed to the Avon emails to get those Cyber Monday coupons codes, all right? All right, so, and you know, shopping in your uh, pajamas, and then an appreciation gift. Um, where did I put my tissue? Sorry. And we have to call it an appreciation gift. We're not supposed to call them drawings anymore because evidently Miss Negative Nelly was complaining that she didn't win, so we're not allowed to uh, do drawings. And that's not us, Avon, it's the United States. Anyways, so. You can't call, so our wording used to be, everybody who shops my site on Cyber Monday is going to go into a drawing to win. We're not allowed to say that. Now I still say it because I don't have any negative Nellies in my life, but if you do, watch your wording. So, um, but you can call it an appreciation gift. Shop my website on Cyber Monday and I will send you an appreciation gift. Okay, so the person who spends 10 bucks, okay, you send them a sample. You send them a lip balm, what, whatever, yeah. right? But the one who spent a hundred bucks, hey, 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 thank you for shopping with me. And you can, you know, give them something you won from me or one of the free gifts from Avon. So, because you appreciate their business. All right, Christmas, so many ideas, don't even get me started. We'll be here until the cows come home. Um, but the work starts now to fatten up that customer list. You want, I would say, at least a hundred names in your um, address book for customers because only one third orders at a time. So if you have 100 names, because very few are the customers that order every single campaign and you can't depend on your friends and your family to support your business. You're going to have to branch out and get more people in. So I have a regular um, 65 to 80 customers that I know by name, and then I have some that just call me whenever, whenever they run out of their deodorant, but one third orders at a time. But because I have a large enough customer base, that means I'm, I consistently have about 20 orders every campaign, and they just naturally rotate themselves. So y you want that fat list. That's the only place it's good to get fat. <laughs> so doctors would say, right? Because, of course, when we're talking tacos and enchiladas, so that's a whole other story. So, because um, I, I got my stretchy pants on. Can I do inch? Oh, ooh, I just went down the rabbit trail. I'm thinking stretchy pants for Thanksgiving. Mm. And then nobody in my family really likes, um, what are those things? Why am I drawing a, I'm drawing a blank? On Christmas, the Mexicans, they eat, and it's got the tamales. I love tamales. Ah. Uh. <laughs> And no, I, I finally found some tamales for Christmas, and I was so excited, and nobody cared, and I had to eat them all myself. Oh, well. No. Oh, okay, <laughs> I'll just have to have a girl day with tamales. There we go. Oh, oh, yeah. All right. And it is a Mexican, no, not Mexican. It's Hispanic. Hispanic. 
it's Hispanic Heritage, Heritage Month. Yeah. 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 I mean, they do. Uh, my personal opinion is the best food on the planet. If I ever get kicked out of America, I'm going to Mexico. Oh, the food, the drinks, the beaches. Oh. Mm-hmm. All right. So uh, New Year's Eve is a lot of fun. And you're trying to see how does that celebrate, you know, how does that work with Avon? But we have such pretty jewelry. We got the bling, the sparkle, you know, the earrings that are going to blind everybody when they walk into the room, you know? Oh, my goodness, so pretty. And then uh, we have the velvet tops that are coming out. Did you see the in the What's News that I've been posting on the team Facebook page? We got velvet tops, velvet tops on New Year's Eve. Oh, my goodness, with the blingy jewelry. And then, you know, so you got to start passing out the lipstick samples because they're going to want a nice, bold, or classic, or shiny lip for New Year's Eve. And then eye makeup, oh, we're ta- so be an eye makeup expert. Okay, you don't have to be an eye makeup expert to know how to be an expert. You just know where to find the information. So go on Pinterest, find the holiday looks that you like, save the pin, and send them to your customers. Now you're an expert without being an expert. See how easy is that? <laughs> That's called legal plagiarism. No, anyways. So, and then fragrance. Everybody wants fragrance for New Year's Eve. And, uh, and then the jewelry. Yes, can you tell I'm excited about the jewelry? I love the jewelry. I, I was just reorganizing my necklaces, and I thought, I need to not buy another necklace for the rest of my life. I have so many necklaces. But you can see it's a very packed year, right? So this is the time to make your money. This is the time to fatten up your customer base, to reach your goals. Because you know what's going to happen in January? Nothing. Business goes <laughs> But here's the thing. If you build up your customer base, using all of these things, you will still have enough people in January ordering to support your business. If you have three people, you're going to be hungry in January. You, so you need a lot of people now so that January will be good. Okay? And in January, we focus on our retune. We focus on skin care. Uh, what didn't you not get for Christmas <laughs> that you wanted? Now you could buy yourself something, right? So, um, so if you want to make a plan for this, you know, my job is to help you. So call, text, email me, and uh, we'll make a plan that fits your lifestyle. And um, even if you're an introvert, even though I'm an extreme extrovert, I know I'm married to an introvert, and both my boys are introverts. <sighs> so painful. But I know how to help, help introverts, so. <laughs> call me. <laughs> Love ya. Ah. All right, so my phone changed, but the next slide didn't change. Oh, well, so that means we should do a raffle. So um, what was I going to give away? What was I going to give away? You know, I didn't plan that part. <laughs> <laughs> so start guessing your numbers. It's 1 through 30. Oh, my text guy's helping me here. So guess your number, 1 through 30. And um, if you are the winner, you're going to pick three products from here, so you have to Type in the comments what you want. And I put it in the Facebook uh, team page, an up-close video, so you could see. But really quickly, we have the nail stickers. We have the new Ultimate Serum. We have the Platinum Eye Lip Cream. We have the Vitamin C Mask. We have the Alpha Hydroxy Peel. We have the Power Serum, the clinical Clinical Booster. Eyelash curler, makeup brushes, night magic, perfume, rare pearl lotion, argon hair oil, conditioner, chew spray, and toothpaste. So, so you get to pick three of those. And the first one will get our new love lip cream, lip butter balm lipstick. The ones that are on the table that you can try. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's going to be the first winner. And then the first one to guess the right answer with the timestamp will win. And then I can take a drink of coffee. Did you guys get your coffee? Is it working? Yeah, yeah, we're good. All right. So, so this, this number is what just happened to Dylan this year. Dylan just turned this age this year. Oh. Yeah. Yeah, and so you know what I did? I sent him a six pack of root beer. <laughs> he doesn't drink. All so right, so do we have a yeah, winner I close to yeah. 21? So um, we have uh, Amanda Blankenship at 20. Oh, well, there you go, Amanda. 
Oh, wait, uh, let me uh, show that on the screen here. All right, Amanda, there we so go. Um, I There's will the put guesses. that lip butter aside for you, and then you comment which ones you want, and then I'll move those over. I'm going to put those, that over there. All right, so managing Avon money. One of the biggest mistakes um, I, okay, rabbit hole. All right, let me, let me follow my bullet points. Check an account at a bank. Have your own separate checking account. Matt and I are getting ready to celebrate our 27th wedding anniversary. And despite the, that many years, you know, communication is still a tra tra challenge. But in our first year of Avon, the first year of marriage, which I'm getting all ahead of myself inside the story. So in our first year of marriage, right, we had a joint account. So I was like, oh, so cute, little lovey-dovey, right? We got to have everything all together. And um, so I had all my Avon money in the checking account, about $900. And um, I was getting ready to pay Avon, and I go, and I look at the bank balance, and I'm like, where's my money? And Matt says, oh, that was Avon money? I paid the bills with it. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't be mad because we're still in the newlywed phase, you know? Well, I'm like, you, $900? So I had to wait for a payday and take $900 out of his paycheck so I could pay my Avon bills, so I couldn't place my Avon order until, oh, it was a mess. So, um. And then another reason is if you accept personal checks from your customers, I've had, um, and I don't keep a lot of money in my accounts, um, so I had a customer write me a check and it bounced and the bank charged me a $29 insufficient fee fund for depositing a check that bounced. So now good luck to me trying to get that $29 from the customer, right? And then, uh, and then if that wasn't enough to teach me a lesson, I deposited another check, and it didn't. It bounced, which made my account go negative, which made my bills bounce. And then I got insufficient fees for all the automated bills that hit. <laughs> separate checking account. Banks don't charge fees for checking accounts anymore. So have a separate bank account for your Avon. It makes life so much easier. And then have an app set solely for Avon. If you don't have a checking account, but you have PayPal or Venmo or Cash App, have an app. And I think a uh, Cash App is all she uses Avon for. I think that that's what she uses. But keep keep your Avon money separate from your personal money, and then have a money bag. If you're a traditional um, uh, traditional rep doing the deliveries and you're collecting money from your customers. Get a cute little money bag. You can find cute little pink ones, lip ones on Amazon, something that's not your wallet or purse. And you have to put the Avon money in that bag so you don't get hungry and, and, and go to uh, Starbucks before you get to the bank to deposit your money. Don't spend your Avon money on you until you've paid your Avon bill. I've had reps, um, you know, oh, I need, my car got a flat tire. And so she took her Avon customer money to go buy herself a new tire. And I'm like, okay, I understand that's a dire situation, and I'm sorry, but now you can't pay your Avon bill, so now you can't place an order, so now you've stopped your ability to make more money. So the Avon money might seem like a quick fix, but it makes a problem later. Later, You don't want to cut off the hand that feeds you. You have to keep your Avon account fluid and moving so you can keep making money. So don't do that. Um, no money, no honey. If they don't pay you, they can't have their Avon. Oh my goodness, this rant of my. OK, Avon used to let customers pay at the time of delivery. OK, so I, I wanted to make sure I didn't go down a rabbit hole. So there's a slide for that next. And then, how quickly can you add up their order? Right? All right, so I got slides for that to keep me reined in. There we go. All right, so the history of collecting Avon money. Avon was the only remaining direct selling marketing company allowing reps to pay for goods after receiving them. Reps were stealing Avon products. I had a team member, she was brand new, I didn't trust her, you know, the, the mojo was just off, I'm like, eh, she's not a good one, and uh, we used to have district sales managers, and they had quotas that they had to meet, and um, this rep placed a $700 order, and I'm like, 
and because she was brand new, she had to get uh, clearance from the district sales manager to release her order. And so I told, told the, uh, my DSM, don't release that order. She's not going to pay for it. But the DSM wanted her to place that order because she needed to meet her quota of district sales and new reps and all this stuff. The lady received her $700 worth of Avon products and never paid for it. So whose job was it? It was mine. Hello, hello. It's Teresa with Avon. You know, hey, you need to pay your bill. Anyway, and my leadership income, the one that I feed my family on, depends on the bills being, you know, the Avon reps' bills being paid. So she didn't pay her $700 bill, so guess what? I had a deficit in my paycheck. It was a big mess. And so um, Avon acquired a huge debt from reps that never paid their Avon bills. It was really jacking things up for us. And then leaders lost earnings on their unpaid balances. <laughs> and, then, um, and then I'm sure a lot of you have um, experienced this, unfortunately, one time or another. You show up to your customer with an order. Oh, I'm sorry, I can't pay you this time. My car broke down. Oh, I can't pay you. My car got sick. Oh, I can't pay. Nah, nah, nah. All these stories of why they can't pay you. And now you're left with the product, but you have a balance. on how, you know. And if you paid for that order up front, now you're out money because that customer isn't reimbursing you. I had this one poor representative. I felt so terribly sorry for her. She accepted a $300 order without payment, and she put it on her credit card, and then she delivered it, and the lady never paid her. <coughs> so when people say, oh, I never had to pay my Avon lady before, yeah. take a deep breath. <laughs> and I say, yes, Avon uh, used to let representatives pay for the orders later, but now we have to pay for we had to pay for our, I don't think so. This was it. No, no, that was it. So, um, um, so now, I, now you messed up my train of thought. So I'm going to get on a new train of thought. So um, it, your customers pay Tupperware up front. They pay Mary Kay up front. They pay Princess House, Candlelight, um, Color Street, um, who else is out there? You know, Sensi, Simp you know, Pampered Chef. All those people, they pay up front, and they don't give no lip or smack about it. They're paying up front uh, for the product, the shipping, and the sales tax. And they, don't, they just give out their debit cards, and they don't even blink twice. But now you want to collect their $25 up front for their lipstick and deodorant, and they're like, meh, meh, meh. Excuse me? So... Uh, no money, no honey. So when they say, well, Avon used to, but don't go into all my rant with your customers. Just say, Avon used to let reps pay for the order later, but now they require us to pay our orders up front. And it is for your own protection. One, it protects Avon from bad debt, and it protects you from people who go, oh, I'm sorry, I changed my mind. I don't want it anymore. So it protects you. Okay, so uh, that's why it's very important to be able to be quick on the draw with adding up their order. And one of the things you need to add in for their order is the order processing fee and sales tax. Now, an order processing fee is shipping fees for the traditional customers. By default, it's 75 cents. When I started, it was 25 cents. But now we have the authority to set that order processing fee at whatever rate we want. So just be reasonable. I choose $1.75 because my gas is re regularly $5 a gallon. When it's $4.49 or ooh, when gas is $4.69, oh, that's a happy day. Let's get some buckets and fill them up, $4.69. And then I hear these people on Facebook complaining $3. I'm like, <laughs> please. So $4.69 is a cheap day for me for gas. So um, that's why I charge $1.75. Now, 12 customers will more than reimburse you for your shipping. So let's say Avon charges you $8 for shipping. If you, if you charge your customers $1 each and you have 12 customers, you've now collected $12. Avon charges you $8 for shipping. That $12 reimburses you $8, and you got four bucks, $4 left over. That can go towards your books. So you got to make sure you have that in there. 
And um, on our YouTube Dazzling Diamond channel, there's a video on how to do this. Um, be fair with the amount you set. I talked to one rep. She goes, well, I'm going to put $5. I'm like, you can't put $5. Maybe if it's a $100 order, you could charge her $5. But if she buys 20 bucks, why is she going to pay $5? That's not. Be, be fair. Um, sales tax. I, um, if you don't know your sales tax, just go on Google and write sales tax rate and then type in your zip code and it'll tell you your percentage. And then um, there's also a video online on my YouTube channel that shows you how to do that. So to add up a customer's order, I have a slide on the next, um, next slide. You're going to add up the cost of the products, add the order processing fee, and that total is what you're going to multiply by your sales tax uh, rate. And that's the sales tax that you're going to charge to your customer. And you have to charge them sales tax because Avon is charging you sales tax. You don't pay the sales tax to the government. Avon pays the sales tax to the government on your behalf. And one representative, she was new, she was asking why she didn't make any money, and we broke it down, and she didn't charge her customers an order processing fee or sales tax. So the sales tax and order processing fees made her like negative $12. She owed money on her order. Do you think she stayed with Avon? No. So um, you got to make sure you're getting the appropriate fees in there. If you're giving your customer a discount, I have helpers that get 20% off. But um, Matt had to teach me this one when we got married because he found out I had all kinds of like faulty practices. Um, you still have to calculate the brochure cost of goods. And so I, at events, I had a hard time doing this because I was figuring out the sales tax rate on my cost. You have to figure out the sales tax rate on the brochure cost. And then if you want to give them a discount, but you still got to add in the appropriate sales tax. And then um, customers paying you the sales tax reimburses you the sales tax that Avon charges you. All right, are we good on all that? I went fast, but um, I talk a lot, so I want to make sure I'm moving along. So um, after this, we're going to do another raffle so you guys can start guessing your second numbers. Um, so for the charges, um, oh, look, I provided a slide for this. Okay, so on Avon.com, I was like, I want my pointer, but then Matt says it doesn't matter. You guys don't need the pointer. Um, people online can't see the pointer. Oh, but I have that dot. Okay, so on Avon.com, you're going to go over to Manage Business, and when you hover over that, you get a drop-down menu, and you want to tap on Web Office. And then when you get to Web Office, you're going to go down here to Customer Invoicing, and that opens you up to Customer Invoicing Settings. And this is where you're going to put in your service charge fee and your sales tax rate. And then when you create your invoices on Avon.com, which I highly encourage you to do, and if you don't know how to do it, call, text, email me, um, it will automatically calculate this for you. And what I like about it is if um, back in the day, before Avon was on computers, <laughs> you know, doing the handwritten receipts, if there was a, um, item missing, I had to draw a line, I had to re-add, recalculate the tax, and it was a horrible looking invoice. It was so messy, and I don't have neat writing, and I don't write small. Like My natural font size, like if you gave me a blank paper to write on, I think I naturally write in like size font 48. That's just so, trying to find those little tiny lines, it doesn't really work for me. <laughs> Side note, when we have to sign all those school papers, you know, my husband, he will sign it, and he, he, we're opposites all the way. And he would do this microscope. He's like, he holds his pen. <laughs> and it looks like a little line. It's like that big. And then I get tired of signing all those papers. So I'm like, T H E. <laughs> and my kids are like, Mom, why are you doing that? Anyways, side note. But this is how you do um, that to make sure you have the proper fees. And if something's missing on your um, order, Avon automatically, the computer will automatically recalculate the sales tax for you so that your invoice can remain nice and neat. Oh, my dot's still on. Okay. All right, so I'm going to leave this here for a second while the numbers, will, are the numbers coming in? Oh, did Amanda comment what her three are? Uh, oh, um. uh, Amanda said the vitamin C mask, I think. Yeah. And what else? Yeah. Uh, you get she two. just said vitamin C mask. Yeah, you get two more, Amanda. All right. So um, when adding up your orders, you have um, 
the product. So let's say a typical customer will order two bottles of Skin So Soft Oil, four moisture therapy hand creams, and two moisture therapy lip balms. So the, and the computer will do this for you. But if you're doing it by hand, then this is what it's going to look like. So then you have price each times the quantity comes to $56.92. You add in the order processing fee of $1.75, multiply it by your sales tax. Mine came to $5.27, which means the grand total is $63.94. And that's what the customer has to pay me before I submit her order. No money, no honey. Sing it with me. No money, no honey. Okay. All right, do we, do we have a... Uh, Oh, I didn't say the number, did I? So this winner's going to get... Well, I have the numbers, so... Um, this yeah. winner's going to get the uh, cute little Christmas ornament plus three products. It says, Joy, Love, Peace, Family, and Christmas. Isn't that cute? But, you know, when, when, um, when your customers it order this, open the bag carefully and take off the sticker that says Made in China and then put it back in the bag. <laughs> All right. Also, we have May night on the Tuesday. Is this the night? I think so. And the toothpaste. And the toothpaste. I like this toothpaste. And it's got a nice big cap, so it's easy to. Um, so if you had old customers, they need. All right. All right. I got your pile, okay. Amanda. The um, the guesses have stopped coming in. Okay. And I've got I've got a winner. All right, and the, the number was six. The number, well, on you wrote you wrote nine on my list, but oh, either way. Oh, it's upside way. down. You're right. See, there's a little pin there. I had it upside down. The number is <laughs> nine. <laughs> <laughs> the winner is Rose. Is uh, Tony, Tony oh. Lynch. Oh, right there here. you go, Tony. <laughs> All right, and then which which three products would you like? That's the conditioner. Okay. All right. All right. So um, I would l like you to know how to do this so that when you're on the phone with your customers, you can add it up for them. Or um, they're all, there are alternatives. So um, words to say. Because when I talk to reps who say, I ask them how come they're not placing an order, and they're like, oh, I don't have any money. And I'm like, you're not supposed to have any money to place the orders because your customers were supposed to pay you up front. You're supposed to use their money to place the order, right? So uh, if you're on the phone with them or if they uh, emailed you or something or texted you, you can say, and you know, people can hear if you're smiling through the phone, right? When you smile, psychologists have like documented this, when you smile, it changes the tone of your voice. So practice smiling. Your animals will think you're weird, but it's okay. Um, thank you for your order. I'll text you right back with your total. Okay, okay. <laughs> and then will that be cash, plastic, or app? This one you need to go, will that be cash, plastic, or app? Right. So I'm preferring apps because they're much more faster then, because um, cash, I have to go to the bank and deposit it and then hope I don't spend it before I get to the bank. Um, yeah, apps, especially, um, I'll show you one. My favorite so far is Zelle, because it goes right to my bank. And then when they say, oh, I didn't have to pay my Avon lady before. Oh, Avon requires reps to collect payments at time of order now. That's it. Short, sweet, to the point. You know, and then, and then thank you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So, uh, and, and if they want more explanation, I guess you could give it to them, but just say, you know, reps weren't paying for their orders. I don't know how much drama you want to get into your cust with your customers. Depends on how close they are to you. But just this is the way it is now. Yeah. You can say, well, Avon just changed their policy. And end it there. Yep, yep, they're short and sweet. You want to argue, you call Avon. All right. 
All right, so is Cash really king? So these are all the different apps. And I tried to ask and, and get some feedback, so I don't use all of these. Um, but Zelle um, is free of charge as long as it's for personal use and not for businesses. But here's the thing. I'm not running a store. I'm not having hundreds of dollars of transactions every day, every week, every month. I think the amount of people who pay me with Zelle comes to maybe $65. And like two or three people pay me with Zelle. So to me, it's still personal. I, I'm, I'm not going to tell the bank it's business and let them charge me a fee. Now, so um, Venmo, um, it, it, if you, if, same thing. If you're a business, if you register your Venmo as a business, they charge you a fee plus 10 cents, a 1.9% of the amount. Oh, Matt's got something to say. Well, Venmo, um, even if you don't register as a business, if the customer enters that they bought a product, that this is in, in response to a oh. product, then Venmo will take the business fee. Oh, yes. So if you're having, if your customer is paying you with Venmo, you would want them to put in the comments smiles or a kissy face or... A happy no, it, it's it's actually a, a specific question that Venmo asks oh. when you when, when they make a payment. Is this was was this for a fee? Was this for, was this for a pro in exchange for a product? Oh, so you would have to lie and say no. So they would have they would have to lie and say no. Your customer would. Well, technically, it could just say they're paying for a good time because it's nice to see you and have you deliver the Avon, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> All right. So is the same same thing true with PayPal then? So, um, uh, but Venmo and PayPal both take about three days to get to my bank. I have to initiate the transfer. And so uh, what I've been doing is letting them pile up. And then on Sundays, I make all my transfers at one time instead of having to go in multiple times and ma keep making transfers. So, but they take three days. So you need to uh, um, a lot for that. The cash app. So Amanda said that there's no fees at all and that the payment goes right onto the Cash App card, and she uses the Cash App card to pay her Avon bill. So if we have questions about these, let's take it to our team Facebook page so we can have a dialogue and make sure that we're all on the up and up, because uh, we want to know how to get our customers' money going into fourth quarter. So um, the square, now I have to show you this. I have one of these. This is called a credit card receipt. So back in the day, it's a carbon paper. So there is one for Avon, one for the customer, and one for me. And I kid you not, <laughs> I would be at events. I'm holding their card. I'm trying to write into these little itty bitty small spaces. Then I have to call the 800 number on, you know, call the 800 number, hey Amy, and then, I know, it's your other girlfriend, it's your other girlfriend, go get her, you, oh, as soon as you sit down, he'll be all over you, look, like, I know, now you have competition, he's like, hurry up and sit down, Amy, <laughs> so we got some peanut butter cookies here, and there's some orange juice and coffee and water in the kitchen, so, um, I would have to call this 1-800 number in a very noisy place and read off the credit card number and, and get the approval code and write it down. You know how long that took and the customer is standing there waiting for me and then they invented the plastic machine and so I would go doop, 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 right? But I still had to call and get the authorization number and then sometimes the, uh, oh, I know, Monty. Come on. Go get your other girlfriend. There you go. Um, and this would get, you know, bunched up in the machine, and I would have to mail them to Avon. And then um, sometimes Avon would lose it, and then oh, that's a mess. They're, they're horrible. So now at events, I have this. It's kind of ugly. I want to get a pretty one on Etsy, but I haven't spent the money on it yet. But I, I got um, Visa, MasterCard, American Express, Discover, that I can accept those credit cards because I have a square reader. And then I got my QR code for Venmo 
and Zell, and I have my um, phone number for um, yeah my my QR code for PayPal and Venmo. You know, he's like a two-year-old. Those last couple of weeks, he's just been like, if he was a human, I'd spank him. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, and then the phone number for Zell, because that's how they find you on the bank. Um, now, when I got my new phone, I have the S22. There's no longer a jack in here, or like an earphone jack for me to plug in my square reader, because it was this little white thing I plug in, and I would run the credit card through. And so when I went online to Square, they said I had to buy this. And of course they said I had to buy this. They didn't tell me I could buy an adapter for like half the cost. Fine. But, so this is the thing. I keep this, uh, I charge it, and I keep it at the event, and they um, put their credit card in here, and it runs it. And it, yes, ma'am? You get lower fees with that, though. You get lower fees with this than one? Than, than, than the um, old style swipe reader. Oh. So this thing, does it lift out or slide out, Matt? It oh, all right. So this little thing, though, I keep this charged and I take it with me and when I'm doing my Avon deliveries um, because I know my customers that I can trust and like I said, I'm grandfathered into Avon credit. Um, or if they're with you, they just put their credit card in here. And I, ha I open up the app on my phone, and now I can accept Visa, MasterCard, American Express, and Discover. Um, but it also takes three days to transfer to my bank. So, and the thing I like about this is I have an Android, and with this machine, I can accept Apple Pay. I mean, I'm, I'm talking about, you know, <laughs> I grew up on food stamps, you know, that little play money, and now people just come up and tap their phone, and all of a sudden I have money. I'm like, how does that work? <laughs> Blows my mind. Anyways, so, but. Is that for Square and Apple? No, this is Square, but it accepts Apple Pay. Oh, okay. So Apple Pay is something in and of itself that I don't understand because I don't have an Apple. Um, do you find this, do you use Apple Pay, Tony? No. Yeah. So um, I was trying to Google ha what happens, and I don't know what this means. Apple charges credit card issuers 15 basis points. I have no idea what that means. If, you're, if you use Apple Pay, please you know, comment on our team page so we can understand what that means. Um, Google Pay, free to send money to other active users. So I haven't used Google Pay either. Um, and then Facebook Messenger, free to send money to family and friends as long as they say it's not a product. But Veronica Mata uses this all the time, and she doesn't have problems with it. So uh, I say you, you have to pick the app because I think with all apps, I mean, there's, there's fraud everywhere. I mean, it's just like the recently my son was selling his uh, gaming laptop on Facebook Marketplace, and the scammer said, Oh, I know you wanted eight hundred dollars, but I accidentally sent you a thousand. Can you send me two hundred back? She didn't really send a thousand, but she was hoping that my son was stupid enough right. to send him send her the two hundred dollars, and then he would have just been out two hundred bucks. So I mean, you just have to be smart and watch your business and uh, whichever app you're most comfortable with. Um, this makes it easier for your customers to pay you especially if you're taking an order over the phone, you know. Um, I don't know if I'm comfortable with it, but I have a customer who's taken a picture of the back of her credit card and texted it to me. I'm like, I don't want your credit card information on my phone. What am I? <laughs> That's not safe. But, yeah, so and, and then, of course, she, she's, she'll buy again. She goes, just use the card I sent you. And I'm like, so I don't know. But, so, so, Maybe comment which apps you use, which ones you like, which ones you find challenging. And then, uh, okay, so we're, go we're going to do another raffle now. We're going to pause here for a second. And then um, this winner is going to get these cute little tiny lipsticks. I, I don't know why it's so hard to bend over. Maybe I need to do more stretches. Maybe I need to do yoga. Anyways, but look how... 
Look how cute those are. They're so tiny. So there's three different colors, and um, they go, this little box in the brochure is $30. Why is it $30? I don't know, but it's cute. But, you know, the, the casing is small, but it's still a full-size lipstick. I still think you get all the lipstick that you would in a full-size. Yeah, they're cute. Here, let me show one. Look how dainty those are. Aren't those cute? And they're nice colors, too. So um, um, if, if you're the right number, you'll get that, and then you pick three of these. Yeah. Oh, and while we're doing that, let me show you these. Did you guys see these? This is my display when I do events. So we have the set of three pins. No, four pins. You get a pumpkin, a leaf, a pumpkin spice latte, and pumpkin pie, the little pumpkin earrings. Aren't those cute? And then this is the charm bracelet. And it's got the pumpkin, pumpkin pie, a leaf, um, a pumpkin spice latte, and then I think, oh, and then a little charm that says spice. Yeah. <laughs> Monty doesn't like anybody getting up. <laughs> I think I'm going to have to get him some CDB, CBD oil because he's just too wound up. <laughs> All right. So do we have a winner, Matt? Yes. Yeah. What uh, was the number? Uh, the number was 18. 18. Oh, that's my birthday number. June 18. That's a good number. And uh, the winner is Amy with a guess of 12. Oh, oh very good, Amy. Yay. <laughs> now, what three products would you like? We have um, the uh, nail art stickers. Mm -hmm. We have the a new Ultimate Night Serum. Mm -hmm. The Platinum Eye and Lip Cream. A vitamin C mask, the alpha hydroxy peel, mm -hmm. power serum, clinical <coughs> boosters, um, eyelash curler, night magic perfume, rare pearls, body cream, and then the shoe deodorizer. All right, and you get to pick two more. Oh, two more? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, one more. This is the little guy that's making all the noise. Okay. So, wait. See who you're disrupting, Monty? <laughs> all right. So, customer orders timeline. Now, of course, this is uh, for traditional customers. Uh, you want to give out your brochure and your digital link. So, let's see. Campaign 19 closes on Tuesday, and Campaign 20 will begin on Wednesday. So technically, you should be passing out your books now for Campaign 20. Um, the link for Campaign 20 won't work until Wednesday morning, Tuesday night, midnight. But you will want to pass out your brochures. Um, and if you get way ahead of the game, let's say, well, it'd be nice if, if you got your books out early enough so that when Campaign 20 opens on Wednesday, that Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, you can place your order for Campaign 20. That would be the ideal cycle. And then after you give out your digital link or your brochure, this is where the money comes in, and ask for orders within 48 hours. So in two days, they should have, have had enough time to review their book, to look online, and if they haven't, they will forget all about you. They will, I promise. They love you, but they'll forget. So, um, and then secure the payment. And remember, some of them can take up to 72 hours to uh, get. So if you're collecting orders, um, uh, let's say we're in campaign 19, and it closes on Tuesday, it's Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, you would have to get all your payments now so that they would get to your bank by Tuesday so that you could pay your bill and submit your order, okay? So then you would submit your order on Avon.com, notify your customers if there's any shorts so that they can um, order something else. Um, you know, because sometimes like, I'm sorry, that's not available right now. And everybody, you know, don't be afraid to tell customers that there's a short 
because Target still has empty spots on the shelves, so everybody's still feeling it. Um, and Amazon's not always delivered in 15 minutes. Sometimes I'm having to wait a week. I'm like, excuse me? You know? So um, the, wor the world is still feeling short. So um, don't, don't be scared to tell your customers, I'm sorry, that's not in right now. Would you like to order something else instead? And then, <coughs> and then um, so suggest a replacement and then pay for the order. Then the uh, order will come to your house. You will sort. Sort the products so you get all your jewelry, skincare, perfume, makeup, get it all sorted in categories, bag them up, and then put samples in all the bags, put a brochure in each bag, and then um, if you give free gifts to your customers, thank you gifts, put one in each bag, and then call to schedule the delivery. And then, um, then when you deliver the order, you want to, well, yes, I just said all that. So give them two bucks. One for them and one for their friend. That's the best way to grow your customer base. That was my favorite way to grow my base. Because if I give a book to Roseanne, she's nice. And she probably knows nice people. Nice people know nice people who know nice people. There shouldn't be any crazy people in her circle of friends, I would hope. Right, Roseanne? Nope. <laughs> so uh, when Roseanne's friend Tony orders, now I'm going to give Tony two books. One for her and one for her friend. And like that um, Hannah shampoo commercial, Herbal Essence and from 1970, and so on, and so on, and so on. That's how we grow our business. All right. Does, have we had any questions thus far? I know I've been just jabbering away. So, um, so the what's new, when you place your traditional order, you'll get the what's new in your box. And if you don't, then you'll have to look at the PDF online. So these are amazing. All right, look at all these pretty pictures. Uh, so um, I'm going to be posting these pictures online to the team page so you can show them to your customers. And I purposely cut out the price tags. This is what I want you to do. I want you to either take your hard copy or pr print up the PDF and have it with you as a reference. Then text these pictures to your customers and when they call you or text you, how much is that? Look at your hard copy and say, oh, that is, right? And you're going to tell them the brochure cost because that's the thing. If you sh show them the whole picture, they see your cost and they want to know why can't they have your cost. Well, because if I give you my cost, I'm not going to make any money. Duh, right? You know? So you want them to see the brochure cost and then you can um, give them a little thank you gift for shopping with you. One thing I'm going to do, I, I do this every year, my customers love it, is I include the batteries. They include the batteries. My, my strap is slipping. I hope it doesn't mess up the microphone. Um, didn't you hate it when you were a kid and you unwrapped all the Christmas presents and there was no batteries and you couldn't play with them and you had to wait for your parents to go to the store and buy batteries and there was no sense of urgency to them. So you're looking at this brand new toy that you can't play with for three or four days until mom goes to Safeway and buy batteries. So give your customers batteries. <laughs> you could give them the cheap batteries from the Dollar Tree and then they'll die in a couple of days. Or if you have a Costco membership, you can get the generic Kirkland batteries. Or you, if you're really fancy pants, you can get the Duracells. And then uh, go to the Dollar Tree and get those little uh, Bombita bags um, with the little Christmas trees or Santa Clauses on them and uh, put the batteries in there. Or um, in the baby shower section of the Dollar Tree, they have those cute little mesh bags with the little satin ribbon. Those look cute. I was talking to an Avon friend. She goes, oh, just put them in a Ziploc bag. I'm like, well, that's ugly. I want to make my customers feel special. I'm not just going to give them a Ziploc bag from my pantry. I, I, I want them to feel like a princess, like a queen. Like, look, I appreciate your business. You're special to me. I go the extra mile to make you happy because I enjoy servicing you. Yeah, yeah, OK. So batteries is a, is a good deal. And then uh, you, you're going to want to get pre-orders for these because these will sell out. I bet you this cross is going to sell out in the first campaign. This thing is huge. It's, um, 
I don't have the description in front of me, but it's, it's about 12, 12 inches. Yeah, it's big. And it, it's like the balsa wood, so it's uh, lightweight. It's not going to like fall over and break stuff. So. And then, all right, so how do we get there? All right, so well, let's go back and look at the pretty stuff. <laughs> so um, this one, the Santa Claus comes out of the door. The uh, church, the uh, tree goes around, the ice skaters go around, and the swing goes back and forth. This one, the dashing through the snow, the skiers come down the mountain and come out of the little uh, house at the top. Oh, so cute. And then, um, and then uh, the Santa's toy shop, I think it just lights up, but the Christmas tree on top spins. And then I love this reindeer one. The reindeer move. It looks like they're flying. I've got to get that one. Now, um, and then the white balsa one, those people who like those nice, quiet Christmas decorations, you don't want all the hoopla. Or how about the people who like the um, Joanna Gaines um, farmhouse look? That would be, per or those people who decorate the homes in the monochromatic beiges beige and cream and taupe, that, like, that would be a nice one for them also. And then um, if you have a customer that is a receptionist or works at a doctor's office or something, order one and let her put it on her desk so she can get orders for you. And then when she's done, she can buy your demo at a discount. Right? Or if you're at a desk, you know, the switches in the back, you can now do lights only or lights and music. So you can do lights only. So, um, but that's seeing is believing. All right. All right, so how do we get there? Let me see. That was three raffles, right? I got two more, right? OK. How many more slides are there? Oh, OK. I don't have my glasses. I don't know. Oh, I see. Oh, there it is. OK. So uh, what was this prize going to be? What was it going to be? I forgot. Oh, this is a sample for you guys to smell. This is on the co cover of the new book, the uh, body serum. I forgot what this one was going to be. I thought I had more stuff. Well, let's see. Let's make it the uh, strawberry and white chocolate body lotion. So that'll be this one. So you guys start guessing. All right. So. To grow your customer list, I already mentioned it a little bit before, is the sweepstakes. You know, every month we get a new sweepstakes. And um, when you post that, people don't need to buy anything to enter the sweepstakes. They just fill out the entry form. But now their email address is captured into your address book. So when you send out your uh, promotional coupons, um, you'll have more people to send your promotional coupons to. Give customers two books, one, you know, one for them, one to share. Make sure you give out your samples. Get lots and lots of samples. Um, this time of year, you're going to want to focus on fragrance and uh, lipstick samples. And uh, of course, you can't put the stickers on the lipstick samples. But um, show off your demos. That's what they're there for. And then um, I started to read panties. I'm like, wait, panties? What? No, parties. So having holiday parties in person or online. And then uh, use old books for fishing. Never throw away your books. Um, put a label on them. And uh, if you go to the bank, leave a book on the little table in the lobby. So I always use a tease that if I had one of those little lights, I should be able to see your Avon trail everywhere you go. So every place you do an errand, you should be leaving a book. Yes, Matt? Bingo. Bingo. What? We have an exact hit. We have an exact hit. Let me see. Oh, 18 was in. Okay, what's what number were we on? What was the next number? Was it 11? 11. OK. Who guessed 11? Uh, hold on. Let me show it on the screen. Brenda McHugh. Ah, congratulations, Brenda. So comment below what you would like, Brenda, for those products. And I'll, I'll put your uh, lotion over here. OK. All right, and then learn. So practice adding up your orders quickly so you can get back to your customers. Find out your sales tax rate if you don't already know it. 
Um, decide for yourself, decide in your heart how much you're going to charge for your order processing fee. You want to be responsible to yourself and fair to your customers. And rehearse smiling while saying, will that be cash, plastic, or app? And then research and decide which of the apps you will utilize. Which one is going to be best for you? Which one do you feel most comfortable using? Which one do you feel that you could use the most quickly? Like whenever I use Square, I always have to remember. I was like, oh, wait, no, oh, okay, I got to open the app first. Yeah, and then Zelle. Oh, wait, how do I get into Zelle? You know, <laughs> so I'm not, I'm not quick on the draw with these apps. I'm pretty good with Venmo and PayPal, but the other two, I'm like, nah. All right. So you're the boss, and I would love to talk to you about this to make an Avon schedule for yourself. Uh, what day will be your order day? So I place orders on Sundays. So every Sunday I place an order. So I'm placing two orders a campaign. Now if the order is too small, then I'll wait and do it the next Sunday. But if I, because I'm in California, it takes me a long time to get my products. So I place my order on Sunday. I'll get my order Thursday or Friday. So over the weekend, I sort, bag, schedule deliveries, and I deliver on Tuesday. It doesn't change. Sunday, Friday, Tuesday. Sunday, Friday, Tuesday. Sunday, Friday, Tuesday. So if life falls apart, guess what? Avon doesn't fall apart because it's like riding a bike. Sunday, Friday, Tuesday. Sunday, Friday, Tuesday. I can do it. All right. So three days before you place your order, uh, you need to have all the monies collected and in your bank and ready to pay Avon. 48 hours before you have all the monies, you've got to make sure that you're calling to get the order because people are busy, tired, and lazy, and they're not going to remember to tell you they want that green perfume that's pronounced Heiku. You mean Haiku? Yes. All right, they're not going to remember, so you have to tell them. And then um, 48 hours before that, you've got to make sure they have your link or your, their, your brochure. And I hear, oh, I don't have any money to buy books. Give them the link. There's no excuse. The link is free. So I know customers like to sit on the toilet and looking at the Avon book. I know that. You know, they're like, oh, this is my bathroom book. Well, good, keep it. Don't give it back to me. I don't want it. But there's no excuse for not sharing your link. Well, they want a paper book. Well, then buy some paper books. You can get 10 books for $6. I mean, that's cheaper than my Starbucks drink. But those, those 10 books are going to make you more money than the Starbucks will. I wish Starbucks made me money. <laughs> Shoot. Of course, I'd probably have diabetes. <laughs> All right, so, um, but if you need to make a plan, I can help you. All right, oh, look, oh, and Amanda got in there too, but Amanda got in, I, your, your pictures should be there, Amanda, but I forgot. I didn't forget, I didn't know at the time, but I double checked and I was like, oh wait, I forgot Amanda. So um, before we do this spin, we're going to do one more, um, one more um, raffle. And the last one will be for the bubble bath. Okay, so you can smell that. And then, um, and then. Oh, that will work too. Huh? Oh, yeah. You can lift it. Oh. I lifted it already because I wanted to smell it. But I didn't use it. I just kind of lifted the things I wanted to smell it. <laughs> so. Um, yeah. So what I did is uh, I want to see. I want mm -hmm. proof that you are working your business. I, I once went to a, uh, uh, one of my reps achieved something. And so I posted on her page, hey, congratulations, you blah, 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 blah. And when I went back and looked at the comment, some of her own family members says, oh, I didn't know you did Avon. And she'd been a rep for three years. I'm like, oh. <laughs> <laughs> In the most loving way possible. So um, the I see you is I'm spying on you. I want to see if you're posting on Facebook So um, about your Avon business. So if you're not on my radar yet, then your first couple of posts, you're going to need to tag me in it. So I need to watch you and see that you, you know, like if you just did it for the first time, I need to see that you did it. Seeing is believing. So I have a special gift. <coughs> I got all the names here. So we have Janine Chambers, Tony Lynch, Brenda McHugh, Sally Schultz, Dean Rocky, and Amanda Blankenship. So I got all your names on here, and I'm going to give it a spin. And whoever wins, yeah, this is the ICU spin. I got this cute little makeup. 
It says, wake up and make up and a little lipstick pen. So this, you know, so you can write all your orders in. All right. So this is going to be fun. Oh, do we have a winner for the bubble bath? Um, Where did the bubble bath end up? Oh. Okay. The, uh, well, we only got three guesses. Uh -huh. uh, and Lori Adelano with oh. 27. Wow. The number right. was 24. Uh, all right, Lori. Okay, so did Brenda comment which three she wanted? Yeah, the vitamin C is not there. So I'll give uh, that. Let's see. Maybe I'll do like that. Okay. All right. And then Lori can comment what she wants. Oh, yeah, the slippers. All right. So you guys are ready? Any questions about the money? Yeah. Everybody's all fine and ready to say cash, cash plastic or app. <laughs> okay, all right. Isn't that fun? <laughs> dun, 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 dun. Oh, it is Miss D. Congratulations, D. Yay. <laughs> all righty. So I'll put that aside for you. <laughs> All right. So hopefully we'll have more names on it next uh, campaign, huh? All right. So, all right. So, was that my? Uh, uh, so, I always like to say this. The reason uh, we're called the dazzling diamonds is because diamonds aren't found as precious stones; they are created. None of us come to Avon as top sellers. Through learning and practicing, we can all shine bright like a diamond. So, and that's what I'm here for, is to help you learn and put into practice and find ways for you to work that you are comfortable with working. All right. So, and then our next one will be Saturday, October 21st. And usually I don't have trainings in November and December because everybody's busy, they're traveling. My house is a wreck because I have to move furniture to fit the Thanksgiving table and stuff. So, um, but I'm, I'm going to be looking into just doing a live event and not hosting it with all this. I'll just probably do a live Zoom in um, November and December just so we can stay connected. And if you're local, we'll have to um, have a tamale party. <laughs> yeah. So, all right, did Lori say the three she wanted? She said she needed six. Hmm? She said, she said you can pick the three parties. Okay. All right. Okay, all righty. Okay, well, d how did I do on time? Well, I went over, but it seems like I thought I finished quick. Oops. Oh, well, I guess time flies when you're having fun. So, well, thank you, everybody, for taking time out of your Saturday and uh, joining us. And if you're catching the replay, uh, remember, I'm always here to help you. And if you have any questions, call, text, email me, and we'll talk to you all later. Bye. <laughs>